all the green dots that you're seeing are all the helium miners that have been deployed. You click the hexagon, you see the name of the miner. You click the name. This miner is witnessing pretty well. They have literally witnessed 22 people and in the last 30 days have been able to make around $65 in a bear market which is 12th HNT. When the bull market comes, you can, you can just calculate and, and see how much that would look like. back to the channel my name is olive Kirate and this is olive Kirate rebranded please if you have not watched part one of this video please go back and watch that part one in the month of september 2021 i made the conscious decision to purchase a miner so backstory might be my partner also has this miner he had ordered it a few months prior so i proceeded to look for money as well to invest in this said miner Today I'm going to talk about Helium, right? The $700 investment I made, which we are yet to see if it's a good investment or not. So stay tuned for that too. But guys, this is how the miner looks. This is actually the box. We're going to unbox it. Helium is a company that was founded in 2013. They had this idea of creating a decentralized wireless network. Can we create a network frequency that is ideally not owned by a central authority? And can we transmit data across this wireless network? And it is powered by people. Fun fact, Helium is actually one of the fastest growing wireless networks in the world heavily populated in the us and europe and they have nearly 1 million hotspots live on the network how do you become part of this wireless network helium has this hardware that i've showed you guys you purchase this hardware and you set it up in your house right it has to be connected to wi-fi now this hardware or this box emits a frequency or a radio wave known as LoRa1, also known as long range wide area network. So you'd have to connect it to your Wi-Fi. So it's been termed as long five. But ideally the hardware does, once you set it up, connect it to your Wi-Fi, put your antenna up on the roof, the hardware emits the frequency, the LoRa1 frequency, and it's able to witness with other LoRa1 or LongFi hardwares, other helium miners in the space. So LoRa1, as the name suggests, right, which is the frequency of the radio waves that are used by helium, is long range wide area network. So what LoRa1 does, it is able to transmit data very far, farther than even what Wi-Fi can do, farther than even what Bluetooth can do. And LoRa1 is usually used mostly with IoT. IoT is the Internet of Things. IoT are basically devices or gadgets that use the Internet and they are still able to collect data. Okay, so let me give you an example. An IoT or an Internet of Things is imagine everything smart so an iot is for example your smartwatch or your fitness watch it can collect your steps for the day it can measure your heartbeat it can measure your oxygen it's basically a smart gadget so what an internet of things is is that gadget because it collects data and it can be connected to the internet now this data that is being collected by your fitness watch can be transferred through a LoRa1 network. IoT, like I told you guys, is everything smart. It could be smart door locks, smart microwaves, smart cars, smart watches, anything that is a gadget that literally can connect to the internet, but it actually also collects information. Why Internet of Things is actually a growing industry is because if you're able to collect data from a gadget, integrate this data on a platform, 
you can be able to learn so many things about either people or the people using the gadget internet of things is a very growing future because these are legitimately smart devices collecting data on your behalf these devices that are collecting this data all over the world can be transferred through a LoRaWAN network and that's why Helium's first product was the Helium Miners that transmit LoRaWAN frequencies and the thing with a LoRaWAN frequency it doesn't have to be licensed right it is a frequency that can just permeate through the noise blockchain is now storing all that data right it's storing the data of the the miners it's storing the data that's been transferred it's storing the data of the people who are powering the network and it's rewarding everyone based on the quality of coverage that they are producing for the network this so is all in our simple interpretation of the data chain of helium and the LoRaWAN network so you will collect the data from your iot device we give an example of a pet tracker and your pet got lost but the tracker is an iot device and it's recording all the data about your pet you would now connect your tracker to a hotspot you would point your iot device to a hotspot or to the helium network which is now point number two once you connect your tracker right to the hotspot then now your tracker will be like oh i can send you this data so it'll send the data to the hotspot via the lora one network the hotspot will now just send you the data via the internet via 4g or via wi-fi and it'll send to either of all these three places that i've mentioned if you're going to maybe use network servers for helium it's going to send them there if it's the helium blockchain because the blockchain records everything it'll go there some other companies prefer the data sent to them as well so it can also be sent personally to your servers to your cloud to your app so basically it's up to you where you want the data to be sent the final step is the companies or individuals who pay based on the data usage and you can see the price for helium is very low it's literally a dollar per sensor per year guys because the data credits are many like imagine getting sent data every let's say 10 minutes us as the miners have created that network let's say people in nairobi we've created our own network guys in south africa guys in u.s guys in europe you're all being rewarded for being part of the ecosystem and this is how it looks guys these green hexagons are legitimately hotspot locations and you can see each hotspot covers a certain radius and all these hotspots connect to one another and witness with one another so that if i've transmitted data from my location i need another hotspot to prove that i have so that now i am verified to actually get a reward and that's what i'm going to talk about in a bit but yeah guys i hope you've understood this whole thing okay <laughs> that also affect the place is also how you set up your coverage maybe you're not buying a strong antenna so maybe your antenna is in between so many buildings or hills that will also affect your reward so basically just having a very good quality coverage from your miner and your setup the type of hardware you use where you live so if you're living in a very very remote area where you cannot bounce your coverage with other miners how are we going to reward you so obviously where you stay there has to be miners in this place you're staying so that you guys can witness with one another i witness with john john witnesses with olive and then we can prove to one another that the data has been facilitated and the blockchain confirms it and sends us a reward so we follows a poc proof of coverage mechanism and this ideally just means your hotspot has to transmit data effectively right effectively being the keyword across the network for you to be rewarded the hotspots that i've just showed you guys verify other nodes on the network they verify each other then you're able to now get paid by the by the blockchain right once you prove that this packet of data has been tr transmitted effectively i'll probably deal on this more accurately once my setup is up but like i've just mentioned to you guys the quality of your setup really really matters the height of your antenna so like for example like i mentioned just in the video are you in a direct line of sight for your radio waves to be able to witness with others or are you in between buildings and and hills and your network would just not 
suffice or do well basically the clarity of your radio waves and the network follows a WUPU model so your data has to be wide it has to be unique it has to be provable and it has to be useful so if it meets all those needs then the blockchain actually rewards you again the amount of data that you facilitate across your your setup or across your hardware and finally the location like i told you guys um and i'll probably talk about this in an upcoming video Right now in America and Europe, it's super, super saturated because there are too many hotspots. So obviously, because the network has grown, the rewards are being shared amongst all these people. Therefore, they've completely reduced. But if you look at Africa, our hotspots are not that saturated. Like I will show you guys a picture, one for the US and one for Kenya. And just you can just see what I'm trying to say. So for us here in Africa, we're actually enjoying the rewards much more because it's like we've opened a new network connectivity for Helium and we are now being rewarded as compared to when Europe and America was starting here in Africa, here in Kenya, no one, no one had it. I rather it was, it was not, it hadn't picked, you see. So yeah, guys, that is basically um, the reward system and things that will affect our rewards. But again, let's first put up the minor and then we'll probably delve into this more once we actually have actual data based on our minor. But yeah, that is, that is pretty much it. So if you're wondering why I invested in Helium, this is why I invested with Helium guys. I read so much about it. It was so interesting because this is a concept that I hadn't seen before honestly from where I'm from. So I was just like this is a really good investment and that's basically what Helium does or what Helium is doing. Because I feel like we have talked a lot in this video guys, I want us to stay tuned for the third video where I'm going to now for real for real unbox and then I'll tell you guys a few things now that I recently learned about Helium, my not so good moments about it and why I'm somehow doubting my investment in some way but I will still share with you guys my journey and all that so stay tuned for part 3 to Helium's new plan a huge deep dive on Helium so guys I hope you're enjoying this series I hope you're enjoying these videos I hope you guys are learning and if you are please give this video a thumbs up share with your friends subscribe down below tell me what you've learned are you learning something new am I confusing the heck out of you and yeah it's really it's really nice creating this content and i hope you guys are learning as much as i am so with that i'm gonna leave you here start shooting video three that i hope you're gonna watch go to the helium playlist and yeah see you on the next one